clients came to us after their house was damaged during the Canterbury earthquakes in 2011. From experience from the earthquakes, we did not want to attach the house to the rock. We wanted to keep it off the rock, which means um, even though it looks like it's growing out of the rock, it's actually the whole house is freestanding. We reused the excavated rock to clad the bottom part of the house to give the impression of this house growing out of the rock with the same materials. We lifted the northeastern side of the roof, we lifted it up and purely for two reasons. One is to capture the morning sun as early as possible and the second reason is to have the views up to the reserve and actually see the treetops when you sit down. In order to achieve this roof, we had to use a roofing product which can follow the form. So the decision was made to use those laminates, putting it onto the uh, solar rip from Diamond Roofing. We are entering the house in the middle level, halfway between basement and ground floor. The journey from there up to the top floor leads us up some nice timber steps and then it can deliver step from the ground floor to the top floor which is deliberately open up to the rock face so people will actually feel like you're walking outside to get back into the house. We introduced the sliding shutters on the western facade to be an integral part of the overall design. They can be moved to any position along the facade. They can move with the sun or against the sun. You can open up the views completely. One of my favorite views is walking around the deck, coming around the front, the eastern corner, and then walking towards the sea and seeing Sumner Beach opening up in front of you. What stands out enough for us, it's how, it's how comfortably it sits on this rather difficult piece of land. Connection with inside and outside and how really relaxed one feels when one, one is here. I believe New Zealand architects do not follow international trends anymore. Like ourselves, we're trying to embed our architecture into the New Zealand environment. Um, like this house between the natural reserve and the sea. And I do hope that museum architecture will continue down this track.